Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we are going to be talking about Bootstrap and should you be learning Bootstrap in 2020, 2021 and beyond. So let's get started. What exactly is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a CSS framework that has been around for a very, very long time. Okay, we're talking about at least five years, six, seven years or more okay bootstrap has been around for a long time and what exactly does it do for you it just speeds up the process of creating web applications and making them responsive okay now if you guys have never used bootstrap pretty much you can go to this website called getbootstrap.com and you could actually get uh the stable version of bootstrap now uh, if you guys haven't done this before and never seen a bootstrap website pretty much this is a bootstrap website right uh, you have regular html right css but if you look inside of the html you can see that there's certain uh, css classes that each element has and that's how you actually create the websites now bootstrap is very customizable you can go ahead and add your own utilities you could go ahead and add your own classes you could edit uh, the way how things are actually uh, pre-built right it's up to you what you want to do with bootstrap but like i said the point of bootstrap is just to make your life super simple super easy and you could build a website like this uh, super quick right there's a whole bunch of different examples that they have here now you can also see how people have used it with different themes if you click on the bootstrap templates or the bootstrap themes uh store that they have you can actually see a whole bunch of different websites that have been built using bootstrap now again why should you use bootstrap it's just gonna speed up the process for you okay imagine this if you guys have ever built a website from scratch meaning you have a design and then from there you build it yourself you know it takes time to write all of the html but then it also takes twice as long to write the css properties and all of the things that you want to do with that website like how to align it what's the background color what's the font colors uh how you're gonna stack things up with uh css grid or css flexbox right just doing all of that by hand takes time because then from there you also got to go in and do the same changes for different uh breakpoints for your css uh, media queries right so hey how this is going to look on, on the phone how this is going to look on the tablet how this is going to look on the laptop how this is going to look on the desktop version right all of those things you have to build it yourself so that takes time now imagine this you have a client that hits you up and says hey man um i would like to build a website a static website just for my company something simple just to get it up there right now if you go ahead and you write everything yourself it could probably take you maybe two days three days right to build like a full static website depending on how many pages there is but with bootstrap you can do this in hours okay you know a website that might have four pages that you have to build it yourself it might take you three days to get everything done with bootstrap you might just do that in four or five hours it doesn't take that long because it already has um you know predefined classes that you can use and say hey man i want to align this here i want this to be uh four columns on a desktop i want this to be three columns on a, on a tablet i want this to be uh, one column on the phone right on mobile version etc and all of that's already built for you so all you really have to do is just learn the different css classes and then from there you know customize that to whatever design you're using okay now that's the biggest you know draw that uh bootstrap has like it's just speeds up your whole process you don't have to go in there and, and go crazy with writing custom css it's like it's almost it has everything provided for you okay so that's the power of bootstrap now again now let's go into you know what exactly is going on with bootstrap so bootstrap has been around for 
at least five years or more. It's probably since I remember, right? I started in 2011, right? Even back then, people were talking about Bootstrap. We're in 2020, so they've been around for a long time, okay? Now, if you look in getbootstrap.com, you can actually go in here, uh, get started. You could download it, right? It's just a CSS file. You might have to download some JavaScript if you're gonna add some extra functionalities, okay? Um, the older version, which is currently is the 4.50, that version uses jQuery. The new version that just got released, which is in alpha, right, is Bootstrap 5. So this is the latest version that just came out, it just re got released uh, recently. And to be honest with you, I'm really enjoying it. It also has its own icons, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to use font awesome. Like now you could just use bootstrap and it has all of the icons for you. Okay. It's actually pretty legit, man. It is very simple to use. Like you can go ahead and use bootstrap by using NPM install. If you still don't know about Node.js or using NPM, literally by copying this CSS uh, link right here, this is going to actually just allow you to use bootstrap. You could just use this bootstrap CDN super simple. Okay. That's how easy it is. Now, uh, let's talk about bootstrap itself, right? Who uses it? How big is it? Right? Should you be learning it? Okay. Cause that's what people care about. I mean, if I'm going to spend time learning something, is it going to be beneficial for me in the long term? Well, we can say again, like I told you guys earlier, it's definitely going to be beneficial for you if you are freelancing, if you are uh, getting some clients, or if you are building your own web applications and you want to speed up that process of building the HTML CSS, right? Bootstrap is going to do that for you. Now, let's go in and look at the actual market uh, share that it has. Pretty much, this is like out of Wapalaza tracks over seven dollars, well, seven million two hundred ninety four websites, right? And it categorizes all of these different frameworks into the section called UI frameworks, right? And you can see that Bootstrap holds sixty nine percent of those seven million websites. Okay, sixty nine percent. That's a lot right <laughs> i don't even know let's bring out let's bring out the calculator right let's bring out the, the calculator so you guys get a, a, a the right picture of this right so let's say we got seven million two hundred and ninety four right thousand right and we come in here and say times point let's say point six nine right point six nine right that's 5,034,000 websites out there that use Bootstrap. So pretty much Bootstrap is the go-to uh, CSS framework, period, okay? There's a whole bunch of other ones that pop up. You got Material CSS, you got Semantic UI, you got Pure CSS, you got Boma, you got Tailwind, right? But in reality, they, they're not messing with Bootstrap, bro. <laughs> Bootstrap has been around for a long time and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Especially because they continue to add new features and create new versions of that. Okay. So let's continue with this, right? This is on similar tech. And here we can see how many websites are using Bootstrap. So it's about like 4 million. And this is what they actually have been tracking. But to understand the difference between these two numbers, let's say you are uh, building a website for nike right so nike.com might be using bootstrap but then also shop.nike.com that is part of the same domain but it's a different website they count that as a website okay so that's why you see this number higher than the unique domain so this is just counting the main domain itself so let's say for example nike.com right it's not counting the subdomains and not counting anything else beyond that just the unique domain itself okay so it's actually pretty cool that even with that three million websites right or unique domains are actually using bootstrap you can go in here and see like the most famous websites that or more popular websites that are using bootstrap right now you got uh worldometers.info cnn.com samson.com you got cdc blog.csdn.net uh, jd tech class t.me y2mate 
right? And there's a whole bunch of other websites that are using it, right? This is just the ones that uh, similar tech allows you to see for free, okay? Because this is a paid service to be able to see all of the information here, okay? Now, if we go into the jobs, if you search for Bootstrap just right here, you can find that at least about almost 4,000 jobs here in the United States are mentioning Bootstrap, that they use Bootstrap or they're looking for an employee that actually knows Bootstrap and knows how to use it, okay? You could go in here. This is not stuff that I'm making up. This is stuff that you could literally do your own research, okay? And that's something that I always tell you guys. Um, but like I said, man, Bootstrap is like the world's leading UI framework uh, as far as uh you know css right css framework like this is the number one okay now again should you learn it that's something that is a dead giveaway okay <laughs> what do you think kiddo right should you learn it <laughs> you know it's up to you right but in reality i mean 69 percent of the internet basically uses bootstrap so at some point you're gonna have to use it because people that are gonna hire you are gonna want you to know bootstrap and you don't want to be that guy who's like well you know i've never used bootstrap but i use tailwind css or something that they never heard of or they never used right it's popular or trending on on youtube or, or github or whatever uh blog that you might see out there but where the jobs is at it's a different story you get what i'm saying um, that's something that I really focus on a lot here on this channel is we make sure that we do the research and we focus on the things that's going to get you jobs or going to make your life easier to be able to make money with it. Okay. You don't want to be learning things that you're not going to make money with it. Okay. That's, that's my, my way of thinking. Okay. Some people that just love to learn things just for the love of it. Me personally, if I'm not going to get paid for it, I just don't have the, the personal time to just sit down and learn something unless it's going to come with a bag. Okay. So it is what it is. All right, guys. Now, by the way, man, if you guys really enjoy this video, listen, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a quick course on bootstrap five, the latest version. So for those of you guys that are members of codingphase.com, you get access to all of this, right? Uh, you're going to get it for that subscription payment that you do every month, right? If you are a member, you get access to all of my courses, all of my programming courses. And this is a, a course that I consider a programming course. So if you guys haven't checked this out, go to codingphase.com, literally go in there, check out all of the courses that we have available for you. You can read through all of this right here. You can look at the video, you know, real students that are successful right now and, and they're killing it. Okay. Uh, at the same time, as you guys can see, we have a free, uh, basic membership where you could just go in and get all of the free courses and tutorials. You have the monthly uh, subscription, monthly subscription for 20 bucks, right? You got the yearly plus, which gives you access to all of the courses plus the career bundles. Pretty much this is like everything, everything that's done on codingphase.com, you have access to this. This is the most popular plan. But I always tell people, if you are a beginner or you're just not at that position right now where you could go ahead and sign up for a yearly plan, right? Listen, just go ahead and start the monthly plan, man. As you guys can see, we keep adding new courses to it. If you click in here, click on sign up, you can go in here and it actually is going to give you a $1 trial, right? Where you're pretty much going to get access to all of the courses for three days. And if you want to keep it, you keep it. If you don't want to keep it, you don't have to keep it again. Now you can also go and check out all of the courses that are part of this whole membership. You could click in here, click on monthly plan all access pass. You click in here, as you can see, it has 56 courses, right? You go in here, more information, but as you guys can see, there's a lot of courses that <laughs> you're getting for this, right? For 20 bucks, man, 20 bucks. And you know what? Because you're watching this video, I'm going to give you a 50% off, right? On the description. So if you want to go through the description, you could get 50% off and sign up for um, the monthly subscription through there. Okay. It's up to you. I have multiple ways of you being able to get access to this. It's up to you which way you want to do it. But as you can see, 
all of these courses are all part of the subscription. Think of this like Netflix, right? You sign up to Netflix. Uh, whenever you want to watch something, you're able to get access to all of this. Whenever you don't want to watch anything, you just cancel it and be like, okay, cool. I don't need it right now. And maybe later on, six months from now, you might see a course that you do want or something that you might want to, I don't know, take or do. Um, then from there, you come back to codingphase.com and sign up again and you know, for the same 20 bucks, you're going to come in and you're going to get access to all of the courses that's in here, right? You could go through this and you're going to see a lot of different courses, man, right? All of this, if you was to buy it by itself, it's like over $3,000, man. I spent a lot of, uh, you know, time, almost three years working on all of these courses. And I'm just giving it to you guys for 20 bucks, okay? Take advantage of that, right? I always tell you guys, take advantage. If you want to learn more about, you know, certain careers like Shopify development, uh, HTML email development, right? Then I will say, go ahead and, and take the yearly plan, right? And from there, you're going to have access to all of the career bundles and all of the courses that come with them, okay? Including all of those courses that you see here, okay? So it's a lot, right? When you are becoming a developer, you might think like, man, I'm just going to buy one course off, you know, on Udemy, right? In, in the long term, you spend more money doing that, okay? Having a service like this where we provide you for everything that you're going to need as a developer, this is the best way to go, okay? $20, right? And if you actually click the description, I'm gonna give you 50% off. So that's 10 bucks that you're gonna get it. Okay. So you can't go wrong. Take advantage. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Peace.